make another video. Because I got 17 subscribers. <laughs> what? What? Oh, you place your, you put your face all over Facebook, but you're afraid of the camera. A little, yeah. A little, yeah. Hey, we're going to Jekyll Island, kids. Close the door, honey. <laughs> hey, if you're wondering what that big honking white thing is behind us, that's our camper. Honking? Honking. Hi, Mr. FedEx guy, you're late. Two hour drive, two and a half hour drive. Can you put the propane back on there? Yes, I put the propane back on. Barbecue grill. Yes. About a 10 minute soap. for jacking with him, throw him in the water. <laughs> mm. You can eat these, you know. That's nah, okay. snap a pencil in half with these claws. Into this 
so about 4 20 in the afternoon I'm gonna throw a couple of traps out we got chased off the pier by a storm coming in it got brutal windy out there so that has a tendency to mess the hair up and you can hear the wind blowing behind me there All right, here's the uh, creek I'm at right now. This is what I'm seeing. Water is currently flowing outwards to the ocean, going that way. But this water has less salt in it compared to the ocean. And right now, that's what the blue crabs are wanting in the summertime. So. <laughs> okay, so you got your blue crab. Rule number one with blue crab, or any kind of shellfish, or crustaceans, you never ever ever eat a dead crab. So, to make sure they're still alive, we tap them, we get a little motion out of them, we watch them for a little bit, make sure they're still alive. This guy's moving his back appendages here. They were in a cooler with, some, with a bag of ice, so they're a little docile right now. But, uh, <clears throat> when you, ice them down really good they just get really limp so you got to make sure you check them for life before you ice them down all right this is a male you see the key here that little part is called the key on a female it would be more triangular shape but since this is a male he's well over five inches so he's a keeper blue crab generally for the most part the females are going to have reddish coloring on the inside of their claws this one's got blue, so right off the bat, we can tell he's a male without even looking at the key. See, <laughs> you touch anywhere near their claws, and they'll go, uh, they'll go ballistic on you. So let's ice them down really good. It's the humane thing to do uh, before we clean them. In they go. We'll let them sit there for about five minutes and we'll take them out. They should be nice and sleepy by then. All right, so one thing you're gonna need is a trash bag to put all your shells in there. And cutting board works nice, and my brand new Mora. Any knife will do. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, and the most humane, is to find the hinge right here, where the key stops and meets the top shell. Take your knife. Push it in and separate the top shell from the bottom. Now, you're probably thinking that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, but it's the most humane way of doing it. Their brain's up in here. They're no longer feeling anything at all. All right, these are the gills right here. We want to scrape them off, but not yet. Next step, what I do is I'll cut right down the center. All right. Now this piece, we don't really need. That's his face. You can just pull that off and get that yellow stuff out of there too. All right, so what we just do is come out a 45 degree angle and cut all that out right there. All right, that yellow stuff is called the butter. If you eat a soft shell crab, that's uh, I guess the yummiest part, but no thanks. All right, so we scrape the dead man out, or the gills. That's basically what they are. And there is one half of a steamed, soon to be steamed, blue crab. All right, same thing on the other side. Cut the face off, 45 degree angle. Scrape the yellow stuff out. And there's your key. All right, that's all trash. Scrape the gills out and throw them out. 
Now you're going to have a little bit of this yellow stuff, a little butter left over. You're not going to be able to get it all. So what you can do is hit it with a, some cold water and rinse them out really good. What I do is I normally just take it in an ice chest and, and swish it around a little bit. Okay, ready to steam. Again, find the plate, push in, twist, pry the top shell off. That's it. Here's everything we need to uh, cook this crab. We got a bottle of water, some Old Bay, uh, whatever beer you want to use, and some uh, distilled white vinegar. Uh, equal parts water and beer. And it looks like we got too much beer. Okay, that'll be good to go. Hmm. So our pot has this insert. And what that does, is it holds the crab out of the water. That goes in. Water goes in. Here goes in. Now the vinegar, use about half a bottle, about one cup worth for a bottle of water. All right, now we set our crab in there on top of that insert. Spread it all out. Liberal dousing of Old Bay. and we steam it for about a half an hour. That's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick steak. Love it. Alright, so our stock pot has uh, started boiling here quite a while back. What I did is lower the flame so it doesn't boil all the water away. And you just turn it down and that stuff turns nice and red. We're going to let it go another maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> Y'all hungry? Yeah. Alright, 